In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add some text. Okay, so for the uh, sidebar on the left hand side, uh, left hand side, one, two, three, four, fourth one down, it says text. Okay, click where I add my writing. Okay, and then I can type what I want it to say in there. Okay, which I've got some daft thing about unicorns going in there, which will be just the ticket. Um, you know, it kind of uh, probably want to think about the the kind of spacing and things like that okay uh, so I'm putting this on different lines fit cropping down the way here but we'll have a look at what it looks like so if you go into settings this is where you change the font size and color so you can actually see how, how high you want it to be uh, you can do all sorts of, different sorts of fonts and you can do swirly things um, do be aware sometimes on the laser cutter some of these fonts aren't actually attached on there. We may need to, when you actually go to the laser cutter, if the, if the writing vanishes, it just means it's that font's not available on the laser cutter, so you'll have to pick a different one. Okay, so I'm just going to try, um, so we try some sort of swirly writing, so sort of swirly writing might work quite nicely with this message, so I'm just going to say OK, and then OK again. Alright, so as you can see, that writing's going to be absolutely huge. Okay, so I'm just going to change the size of that. Now, various ways I can do this. I can go back into that writing. So I can go back. So I've just click the writing into property. Okay, go into setting. And we're down here, I'm going to change that to be, um, let's try 4 mil. Let's see how that works. So just change the, the height. Of it. And okay, there. All right, so that's now looking a lot more uh, sensible. Okay. So I can as well, uh, sometimes it's easier doing it, I can just grab the, the text box and it will automatically resize inside that box for us. Um, okay, but, uh, can I go a little bit bigger on that one? I'm going to go to the properties, you're going to shift that up a little again. So back into settings, and I guess things are just a matter of um, sort of fiddling about until you get kind of happy with how it looks. So I'm going to try 7 mil on there and see what that does. Um, I think that might just about fit. No, I think I've gone too much on there. So back into so the bottom right, just in case you can't see where I'm going. And right, there's a little box that appears. It says property and start edit. I'm going to property. Okay, back into setting. And I'm going to down to, I think before it was 5.3. So I'm going to try 5.5. Oh, got too many decimal points in there. There we go, and OK, there we go. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it, so I'm just going to centralize that in the box. OK, please note for your writing to work into black. Please note as well for the outside cut, it needs to be in red.